Howdy campers and welcome to your fourth Django tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at HTML templates. Alright then, so in the last video we set up these URLs forward slash about or just forward slash to detect when a user goes to either of these URLs and then fire one of these functions. So either about or homepage. And we send back a simple HTTP response in both cases. So it looks something like this in a browser when we go to forward slash about or this or the homepage. All right. Now, this is pretty cruddy. If I went to a website and got this for the homepage, I'd be pretty annoyed. So instead, what we're going to do now is start to look at HTML templates and sending back those to the browser instead of this text. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, what we need to do is create a template directory okay that's the first thing we need to do and what we're going to do is create that in this root directory of the project so i'm going to right click and go to new folder and call this templates okay and inside that folder we need to create two templates one for the home page and also one for the about page right so let's create the home page first of all i'll go to new file and we'll say homepage.html and then inside here, I'm just going to type HTML and then tab. And in Atom, it's going to create this little boilerplate HTML template for me. In the title, I'll just say homepage. And down here, we'll just do a H1. And inside, there can be this text. This is the homepage. And below that, we'll just do a P tag. And inside, we can say welcome to Django Nautic. All right. So if we save that now, we have the home page. Let's also create the about page. So I'll call this about.html. And I'm just going to copy this dude and paste it over here because I'm super lazy. We'll change this to about. And then this will change to about us. And underneath we'll just put we like Django. All right. So. Now we have those two HTML templates, one for the about page, one for the home page. And we want to serve these up to the browser when a user visits either just forward slash for the home page or forward slash about for the about page. So we'll send the HTML templates instead of these things right here. Yeah. So let us just now comment out these dudes by putting a hash in front of each one. And instead, what we're going to do is return a template right now to do that. We need to render a template and to render something, we have to import the render module. So let us do that. We'll say from Django dot shortcuts import render. And by the way, if you're looking at all these different imports thinking, oh, my God, how on earth am I going to remember to do all these different imports? Don't worry about it. You don't need to remember everything just as long as you know you have to do it. That's fine, because then you can always look up how to do something. I'm forever looking things up. Doesn't make you a bad developer. You just need to know that you have to do it. OK, so we've imported this module. And what that is going to do is allow us to render a HTML template in the browser. Right. So that's what we're going to do. Instead of returning this HTTP response, we're going to return a render of a template. So let's do the home page. First of all, we'll say return and then it's going to be render. And inside this render function, it takes two parameters. The first parameter is always the request object, right? We're sending that first of all. Then it's going to be whatever template we want to send back, which is going to be inside this templates folder. So I want to send back homepage.html. OK, so Django knows to look inside this templates folder for this. So the next thing we want to do down here is say return and then render again. Inside, we've got the request. Then we want it to be about.html. All right. So if I save this now, hopefully, if I go over here and go to forward slash, then we're going to get the home page. In fact, template does not exist. And the reason this is not working is because I've stupidly forgotten to do something. Always do this. You have to go into your settings, first of all, scroll down here until you find templates right here. And what you're looking for is this property. DIRS, which stands for directories, and we want to put in here where our templates are stored. Only then does Django know to look inside this templates folder. If I was you, I'd always call this templates. You can call it something else, 
but sometimes it throws a wobbler if you do that. So let's just leave it as templates. Okay. Now, if we come over here and refresh, then we get this template for the home page. This is the home page, right? So Django is looking at this URL, is saying, okay, based on that URL, I want to fire the home page function. Therefore, I'm going to render this homepage.html file, which is in the templates folder. And it knows to look in the templates folder because we've said right here, this is where they are stored. Okay. So let's try the same for forward slash about now. All right. So we get the about page. This is freaking awesome. Now we've easily created two URLs and two HTML templates, taking us next to no time to do that. So in the next video, we're going to take this one step further and we're going to look at creating separate apps for different parts of our project.